All right, y'all. So yeah, I'm training Melissa, but Sim need a spot, so I gotta I gotta get my man back. You wanna live? No. Come on. You got ten. All right. So I got a question for you, Sim. Hey, what's up, y'all? Don't be alarmed. There's nothing wrong with YouTube. Nothing wrong with your devices or your computers, your TVs. I had to hack into my own video to share something special with y'all. Today, on March 14th, is your boy's birthday. Today is Mike Rasheed's birthday. And with that, typically people like to receive gifts on their birthday. I like to give gifts, all right? So what y'all are gonna do is go down below, the first link, the very first link, uh, go ahead and go into the site, but I have a discount code. I'll put it down below, but it's gonna be right here on the screen as well, and it's called Birthday Boy. Now check it out. You wanna get a, a huge discount on everything on the site, on Ambrosia. But also, I'm gonna give you something for free. I'm giving you a gift, something that means a lot to me. And I think you're gonna really like it, all right? So go ahead, click the link below, enter the code birthday boy, and show your boy some love, all right? It is my motherfucking birthday. I'm about to go enjoy myself. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I'm about to hop out of here. Peace. So I got a question for you, Sim. So we on Sim's channel right now, and we on my channel, so y'all could benefit from this too. So Simeon is doing German volume training right now, G GVT. GVT, 10 sets of 10. 10 sets of 10. But as you saw, I just got six, because we're on the six set, and the numbers are going down. <laughs> my question is this, because when I think 10 sets of 10, that's 100 reps. Yeah. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna just do as many as I can so I get to 100, okay. and as few sets as possible. Yeah. Is there a benefit to doing 10 sets of 10? Does it, does it, does it? Honestly speaking, I would say doing what you've got in mind, would be better in terms of volume. Mm. But for this video, I'm basically teaching them the principle mm. of GBT, okay. which is to do 10 sets of 10. Right. So obviously I've even said to them that with my training, I took GBT and just switched it all around. So right. I've still got lots of volume, right. but it's not 10 sets of 10. Right. I normally, you already know how I train, I yeah. do eight to 10 sets, right, right. but different rep ranges. Right. So really, I just want them to grasp the principle of 10, 10, okay. 10 for 10, and then they can change that and manipulate that to right. work with them. Okay. Certainly, Doing it your way to mm. set that target of 100 mm. means that you're actually gonna hit 100 reps See, at the end of and it. I, and I feel if like you don't it's, get the 10 of 10. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they both neither neither is good or bad. Oh, is no, what no. you're training for? Of course. You know what of I mean? Uh, I, I, but I would say that the, the, your way of hitting the 100 means you still hit the 100. Mm. Does that makes sense. Yeah. As opposed to if you do the 10 by 10 and you don't make it, like I just got six on that one, and then if I keep doing my sets up to 10 and then I end up. 10 without having got my mm. 100 reps which it was supposed to be then see this all right yeah. so this is this is my mind that if you get six right now right yeah rack it yeah five four three two let's go and then go you know what i'm saying until you yeah. get that 10. true true you that know what I'm saying? As well. yeah yeah, yeah. Method as well. there's so many yeah. fucking ways to skin a cat <laughs> so many <laughs> ways to get swole so stop fucking complaining i'm talking <laughs> shit. just try it I got four more bloody <laughs> we got the lovely miss melissa Hey, dude, fellas, y'all all up in her comments. Y'all going hard. This is a lady, okay? I love it, oh, you like it? Okay. okay well, all right. Well, I mean, you know, keep it coming. Keep it coming. This is not a dick pic, okay? I'm fine with everything else. No dick pics. <laughs> no, no dick pics. Do you pic. get dick pics? All the time. If I was stupid enough to send somebody a dick pic, <laughs> an unsolicited dick pic, yeah. and they were like, "Cool." I don't want somebody like that. Thank you. you know I mean? Why would you want a girl that's gonna be like, oh, that's all I needed to see it was your package? Yeah, come on. No, you don't want that girl. You don't want that girl. I'm trying to see if I'm that girl. I'm not that girl. <laughs> it's like what's it's like what's going through your mind, like, fellas, like, what do you think? Are you that fucking horny? And you think your dick is that great looking to where she's gonna be like, who are you? Give me your phone number, I'm coming. That's just weird. That's just a strange fucking thing. I'd love to have a man's brain just for one day, just to see how you guys really process information. But see, and then, and then part of me thinking like, did it work for you somewhere? Is this why you do this shit? Like, or did somebody lie and say, yo, I sent her a dick pic <laughs> and I got it. I hate that. You know what I mean? It just seemed like a strange thing. You know what's crazy? Is I had an imposter. I still do. She's been stalking me for about 12 years mm -hmm. and she has regular communication with men on the internet so if you think that you've had a, a digital relationship with me 
I can guarantee you it wasn't me. Oh, but we spoke on sp Skype, but did you see me? No, you didn't. There's a reason for that. She said their camera was broken. Oh. I don't, I'm never on Skype. I don't even have a Skype account, so. Every time I have to do a Skype God. call, yeah. I gotta sign up a new account, because yeah. I always forget my shit. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's, yeah. So you had a relationship with my stalker. So and she's probably, probably a guy. It could be a guy. Dick pics yeah, it, yeah, but that, she, I think she's gotten money out of guys. I'm like. But this right here is the great equalizer. This, it's hard to do, but it really strips your body of fat and, and it shapes that muscle so legit. Did I show you the pictures from the girl that won season yes. three? Yes. She only lost six pounds. I know, but it looked but like it looked, she lost 30. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you thought 30 pounds, yeah, right? Yeah, 30 pounds. That's what muscle does. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. by the way. You look amazing. Look, she killed it, she yeah. killed it. But yeah, it doesn't even have to be a lot of weight and you're not in a position where you need to lose a lot of weight. Um, I mean, you, I know what you want to do, but you're, you're not, you're okay. not overweight. Oh, okay, I don't, you know have, I, mean? I, I don't, you're right, I don't have to lose 50 or 100 pounds. You that, can, you can lose, you may lose five to 10 pounds and look like a completely different person. I, yeah, I'm, I'm it's looking shaping at, it. yeah, the scale is like not a big deal for me. It's the inches, it's right. the jeans I want to back fit. on. It's, and it's also building back my, my, my sense of stability. Mm -hmm. Because I was saying earlier that some days, I need to hold onto the walls in order right. to walk around and mm -hmm. gain, you know, regain my sense of equilibrium. Other days, mm -hmm. I'm strong enough to feel like I can walk on a right. tightrope, but it's still, I still right. feel like I'm on an amusement park ride sometimes. Right, right. So. so, beautiful black women, get in the gym, stay in the gym, be addicted to the gym, okay? Because y'all come out the gate smoking, killing. All right, so when you're squatting, even when it's just a, little, a bar, mm -hmm. Respect the weight, respect the bar. Act like there's a lot of weight on there, right? So, cause you're gonna develop good habits like that. And what you do, say this is practice. How you practice is how you play. Now, with that being said, once you start getting into heavier weight, every little movement matters, right? So, you wanna get in the habit of only taking, uh, of being very efficient with your movement. So with that being said, once you rack the bar off, you're gonna take two steps, that's it. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna. So assume the bar is up here. I just racked it. I'm gonna step back one, step back two. Okay? You don't really wanna do this. I see that all the time. You don't wanna do that. Okay? Try to be efficient with your, with your movement. Just boom, nice and solid. Nice and solid. Boom. Okay. Okay. The as, as as we progress with weight and time, you'll see why that's important. It may not make sense when the when it's light, but you just want to do everything like it's heavy. Okay. All right. Let's do it. So remember what I said. You start breaking at the hips first. You don't have to sit on the floor, but you want to get your butt below parallel. Okay. And then explode up. So let's do this for 10 reps. Okay, hold on. Push the hips back and nice, nice and, I need deeper than that. A little deeper. Better. Good. You're right at parallel. Right at parallel is good. But if you got a little lower, it's even better. But I'll accept parallel. couple pointers. Uh, <clears throat> when you're going down, uh, first of all, I need you to get some flatter shoes. Okay? So, yeah, because those are still, they're kind of, I'll squat at anything, but when you just start, when you're really building your base, you want like ex extremely flat shoes like that, or actual squat shoes, or chucks, or like in socks. So a lot of time I, I, I squat barefoot, 
in my socks. Really? It gets no flatter than that. It feels, it sounds like it's, but it's fucking perfect. Can I slide in my bare feet? Yeah, 100%. Now, what, which, when you go down, start pushing your knees out, right? So you're kind of, you're gonna be kind of pushing, it's gonna feel like you're pushing your feet out, but boom, and I'm, I'm already pushing my knees out, okay? okay? It does two things. It helps stretch your hips, and it also helps just power that weight back up. So, boom, boom. A lot of times people's knees are kind of caving in yeah. when they're squatting, okay. so you fight that. Okay. Push them out. Push your knees oh. out. When you're doing it, when you're doing it right, you're gonna start feeling it on the side of your glutes. There you go. So come all, all the way down into it. On your, stay on your heels and start pushing out with your elbows. So here, all right, stand up. My feet wanna, my feet wanna stay still. This is what, I, this is what you gotta envision a wall being in front of you, right? Okay. So when you're squatting, I know I said push your hips out, but you also wanna keep your torso at an upright position, right? So a lot of times we're doing this, but if this wall is here, you can't. That'll help you keep your chest up and your back straight. There you go. Mm -hmm. Kind of difficult, right? That, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Come on up. I wanna fall backwards. I understand. Come on up. All right, so try it, try it without holding now. There you go. Good. Good. That's excellent. I think you got it. I think you got it. When you're learning, when you're first learning how to squat properly and get in position, you're gonna feel like you're falling back. Yeah. Because your 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 weight gotta be on your heels. Okay? It's kinda like you just sitting back in a chair, okay? Boom. I know I look ridiculous right now, but it's everything. boom. It's like head up, big chest, back nice and straight. And I'm opening my knees to give my to, to stretch my hips to give me space to keep coming down. Now, I'm squatting in pants. You know what I mean? But you need that kind of mobility. Boom. Boom. Way down there. That was good, but just a little tad bit deeper. Nice. Good. Make sure you're pushing your knees out. On this next one, I want you to sit into it for two seconds. Oop. Good. Same thing. Don't come up until I come in. I mean, I ain't say it like that. I'm 34. <laughs> Good. Oh. Nice. Oh. Okay, good. Let's rack it. That was a lot better. That stuff was a lot better. Yeah. You you feel how stable you are barefoot? Yeah. Yeah, we can move. Like there's no mm -hmm. You feel the difference from the shoes, right? Yeah. All right, so we, we're still easing into everything, but I did want to add a little bit of weight. So instead of 45, you'll be doing 55 pounds. So we're going to go for five reps. That's it. Every rep, do it like it's your only rep. Perfect. Okay. So remember, break at the hips, big chest. Break at the hips. Sit deep into it and explode up. Remember, push the knees out as you go down. I know, it really do. It really do. It really do. Uh, deeper. It really do. <laughs> nice. Two. Nice. Three. Four. A little deeper on this one. Nice. Okay, let's rock it. You made that look kind of easy. You sandbagging on me. No, I swear. Okay, no, so she's a little stronger than we. 
Okay, okay. I, I see. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. We're at a little bit of weight. You did excellent on that one. How did it feel? Okay. I think that for anybody who is committed to doing this 30-day challenge, and you know, you sign up a week or a month or two weeks or whatever the case is in advance, that time is where you can fit in. You know, like get mentally prepared for the not for lack of, it's not rigidity, but like for the focus that you're gonna need. So I cheated, cause I could, cause it wasn't day one yet. Um, so I was really, really good about following the diet that you've given me until Saturday. I needed Thai food, noodles. And, and I so ate them all. Do you think that you have a regular <laughs> habit each week of doing something like that? Uh, was there a specific reason why that you can pinpoint? Good. good, good. Next two, make them nice and deep. Good, last one. Oh. Nice, let's go ahead and rack. Good job. How'd that feel? Heavier. <laughs> Heavier, okay. Okay. Right, right, right. Heavy focus. So what y'all gotta realize is she's not just fighting the weight, she's fighting from your I'm accident, fighting. the yeah. equilibrium issue. So she's trying to maintain her balance as well. Yeah. It's like... What better way to mitigate balance issues than strengthening everything? And squats is probably one of the best exercises for stabilizers. Y'all yeah. don't realize stabilizer muscles is all throughout our body and just walking, you're activating them, you know? Especially your core. Right. I feel it right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yeah. Right here. So I hope this helps accelerate your, your, uh, your recovery with that part, too. Deeper. Sit into it. Nice. Three, two more. Make these perfect. Sit nice and deep. Last one. Come on. Nice. Okay. Stress. Stress. I I had had um, I'd had a difficult week dealing with people. Um, it just seemed like every idiot on the planet was crossing my path. And I, by Saturday, I was, I was spent and I just wanted a couple of cocktails. <laughs> what I want to share with everyone and mm -hmm. with you is a strategy that I have for kind of getting ahead of these cheat meals. What I like to do is have a plan. If, uh, if you feel, start to feel the urge to have a cheat meal or the cravings come on, what I like to do is take that moment, which could be, you know, deemed as a failure if you gave in and make it into a positive okay. by setting the terms of the cheat meal. You want the Thai food. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would take your meal plan where we had the five planned feedings per day. I would combine two of those normal meals and have the Pad Thai with no guilt. Okay. And just have it, but stay on track with every single other thing okay. and plan what you're going to have, when you're going to have it and where you're going to have it from. Okay. So this way, it's not like you just gave into a momentary temptation, mm -hmm. but it's like you set a plan for yourself. And in this way, you didn't really go off plan. Okay. You made a plan about it and stuck to it. Okay. All right. So we just knocked out squats. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do some accessory work. Okay. Uh, we're going to do, they call it like a split squat. It's supplemental to your squats. Your legs are a little bit ta uh, uh, taxed from the squats, and we're gonna tax it a little bit more okay. with some very specific training for each each leg. It'll make you stronger the next time you come in and squat, okay? So you step over the box like this. Now, eventually, we're gonna have you at a higher box, making the resistance greater, right? But we're gonna start baby steps, baby steps, right? So just put your foot on here. There's no right or wrong way to put your foot on here. What's right is whatever's comfortable for you. 
Boom. All the way up. One, two. All the way down. All the way up. Three. So let's do 10 on each leg. You smile. Oh. You're happy about this. <laughs> you want to do this. Sorry, my face freezes. <laughs> she had like a right horror right. face. <laughs> like, like, she like, you don't even realize she was like. I it, it was like the cover reasons. of. You ever seen the movie Hereditary? No, I don't want to. Cause the, I, well, the cover of the fate of the. It's so it's a great, great movie. Okay, oh, I'll take your word for it. Can I, can I, do, can I hold on to your finger? Yeah, but. For balance? And then tr try to let it go, okay? There you go. Good. Once you feel like you got it. So good. So she's holding on for balance right now. She, she's not putting, applying pressure. She's not using, she's not like, I'm not taking any weight off of her right now. So, so this is okay. What's your count? How does that feel? <laughs> you feel a nice stretch when you're down at the bottom? Yep. Is that eight? Yep. Do we, do we, do we need to get you a helmet? You need a helmet? <laughs> you need one. You get her a helmet. Ambrosia helmet. <laughs> do you ever fall though? Oh yeah. Do you laugh at yourself? Of course. That's just hilarious. hilarious. For an if a, when an adult falls, you have to laugh at your it's pain. such a it's such a weird thing for a, a grown up to fall. You know what I mean? The, the, it's funny for a kid to fall too because like you just. It's, it's, I've fallen. It's, I've fallen off a chair because it. That's it's crazy. something happened inside my head and I it literally felt like That's I went like crazy. this and I fall off a chair doing nothing. That's so. crazy. Equilibrium is I want my equilibrium to be off for just a day though, just one day. <laughs> just so I can laugh at myself for a day. <laughs> yeah, because nausea comes with that and you want to throw oh, up. That, shit. That's also what comes Never with Never mind, that. I think yeah, that's exactly. back. Uh, sure. A little deeper. Nice, three. All right, so today's workout was very slow paced because I'm working on her fundamentals and trying to get her body nice and strong and sturdy enough to start going, go, you know, uh, programming some decent workouts with the squat bar. So slow pace, but we want to raise the heart rate a little bit, a little bit, and still get some, some resistance training in. So we're going to do step overs. One of my favorite moves for cardio, you know. So you step over, that's it. One, two. Now, don't do this, okay? Full extension, all the way up, all the way up, okay? So, we're only gonna do five, that's it. So one, one, two. two. My legs already want to like, give out. Like, just even thinking about that, my legs are starting to do this. What's going okay, on here, what's going on here? Stay right here. All right. Because I'm balanced. Because okay. I'm going to fall. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to fall. You're not going to fall. Just try it. This leg first? Mm hmm You want me to do it again? So you can see? So you're here. And replace it with this one. Nice and easy. Okay? There you go. Good. One. Two. Good. All right, so listen. Yeah. That's it for the day. Yay! But this is something I want you to do. Try, try to do this, you know, when you're at home or at the gym. You can do this on a chair, you know what I mean? It's something to just kind of spike the heart rate a little bit. You know, you might get a little sweat. A little. The more you do it, the better. Cause at some point we're gonna be doing this with weights, holding weights. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, let's do that on day 29. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> so you did your thing today. Thank you. We're working on it. Um, when you home, sit into that squat position. You know, stretch your stretch your uh your hips out by pushing your, your knees out with your elbows. You know, just work on some of that stuff. Like like when you wake up in the morning, wake up with some squats. Just sit some body weight squats. 30, 40, you know, in sets. Do stuff like that, it's good for you, all right? And it'll wake you up, too. Done deal. Cool. All right, you're gonna that mile. All right, also, y'all, y'all know Melissa got a YouTube channel. Her links, 
her, subscribe to her. Her link's down below, and it'll pop up on the screen somewhere too. And uh, give her a follow. All right, we out of here.